In the name of Allah, God most gracious, most merciful. Dear viewers, peace be unto you all. Today is Sunday, 31 October 2015. The episode number 161 under the title Peace. Baba Echo Alpha Charlie Echo. Peace is the demand of everything. The one of creatures all around, including the mankind. Because without peace, you will not be enjoying your life or your daily life. No tranquility, no happiness, no <clears throat> relaxation, nothing from the kind. And peace uh, should be with the self with the man with his, himself first. Because if you have no peace with yourself, you have no peace with the others. And uh, <clears throat> when you have something wrong with somebody, uh, you know, you fight with him or you don't like the way he is, or you have something wrong with him, and you come with him and tell him, peace be unto you. So he, he will come to you and uh, the <coughs> enmity between you and him will vanish. So peace is very important. And that's why we have in Islam the greeting is peace be, 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 be unto you. And the greeting of the people getting to the paradise <coughs> is peace be unto you. Peace be with you. This is the greeting of uh, Allah to the people, and this is the prophets proceeding the holy prophet Muhammad, peace be unto them all. Is peace be with you, peace be unto you. Jesus, Moses, everybody. And we remember Jesus greeting his disciples, says, peace be with you, or peace be unto you. Peace. And this is uh, the greeting of Muslims when we see each other or the others who see peace be unto you all. Now how can we achieve peace? Achieve peace by be, being honest, being truthful with Allah first and with others and with ourselves. In our day and time we have uh, so many uh, wars which by the others and fighting and killing each other and you know bloodshed and you know we have uh, so many wars in our day and time. So, why? Because of the oppression. You know, one country is uh, power than the others, and he uh, he uh, go by their own desires. So we cap they capture the small countries. They don't uh, go and put Allah first. Mm, so they go and put our their selves uh, first and their own desire and, and uh, you know whatever they think. So now we have problems in this country, small country. You know they put uh, uh, pressure in them and they brush them and they put uh, their boundary small and then time goes by. 50 years, 70 years, whatever, and then uh, they revolve. This powerful country become poor, become small, and the small countries become, become power, and then they attack them again to revenge and avenge, and this keep going on. Solution for that is any treaty should be revised between the countries, between the nations, between the people. So, if there is anything unjust, uh, we should take it out. Uh, so, uh, we avoid uh, another war. Because the, uh, if you harm people today, and remember that they're going to revenge later in time. They will take their revenge back and they will attack you. And they will uh, put you down as you did 
before. And this is the, in the Quran mentioned that I remember it's in uh, chapter 2, uh, verse uh, 251, and then uh, chapter 22, verse uh, 40, and chapter 3, 140 also. It, takes, it talks about something like this. So we must uh, go back and be honest and uh, live in a uh, harmonious uh, way and peace and uh, to uh, any treaty set or signed uh, between the countries should be revised. You know, should be revised and uh, uh, go back to the just. Uh, you know, every country knows if they oppress small countries. And so we should uh, revise any treaty, any uh, agreement, any contract between uh, countries to uh, make them happy and make everybody, you know, we have to consult all uh, the, the people of the, that country or this country. And they should, the people should vote and say this is our boundary. We agree with that and uh, no oppression. Uh, we should be just and in this way this is the closest way to uh, sit and uh, to live in peaceful way and harmonious and uh, to have time to uh, look uh, to the diseases and to the uh, poor the people and to uh, stand against this we should be as mankind as human being uh, stand against the disease the being poor, the earthquake, the, these things uh, are threatening us, even the ozone. Instead of fighting, fighting each other and uh, giving more uh, disease, more problem to ourselves as, as mankind, we should stop this and uh, be one unit and look to the uh, diseases and fight it, fight the uh, poor, fight the earthquake, fight the ozone, fight anything uh, come from the nature to us and to fight it's the, uh, the only way to fight these things is to go to the path of Allah because Allah controls these things so uh, instead of fighting it directly and we should fight it directly but before that we should be harmonized and should be peace with Allah if we are not peace with Allah this would work. Uh, we'll keep going, going to fall from an uh, empty uh, uh, circle, and we'll never uh, end up with uh, any solution unless we uh, make uh, peace with Allah, make a treaty with Allah, be nice with Allah, be harmonized with Allah, obey Him, and if we made mistake, we uh, repent and we ask Him for forgiveness. So. Um, this is the best way to come to the uh, truth, to cope with uh, the good life. What's the benefit of uh, waging a war between countries? You know, keep fighting each other uh, one year, two years, three years, and then after that, what? Uh, we do destroy everything, and we kill people, and the innocent people, child, old people. Uh, I want to know this, what we are going to uh, say to Allah the day after or now. When we sit before Allah and He just us and He says, yeah, why did you uh, uh, wage a war against this country or that country? And uh, what's the answer going to be? Um, of course, there is no good answer. Then hellfire is waiting for people. And uh, we remember that we go with the either to hellfire or to the paradise, according to the deeds. Uh, if we do a good deed, uh, we go to the paradise, no matter what belief we are in. Because the belief, the deed is more than be belief. Suppose we deny God, we deny Allah, or we say something bad about Allah, <coughs> that will not affect Allah. But if we go and affect people, so, uh, that's the most important, affecting the environment, the people, the animals. Allah, God, um, praise be to God, 
He's God. He, Allah is Allah. Uh, he, uh, whether we worship him or deny him, uh, he will never be greater or smaller by uh, our action. But the idea to worship Allah and the way that we worship, worship Allah is be nice as God nice, be merciful as um, God merciful, be generous as uh, God uh, Allah generous, and so on and so forth to the others. That's the way uh, to worship Allah. That's the meaning of worshiping. It's not uh, worshiping Allah is not uh, praying or uh, <coughs> praising God or uh, perform a burgma or uh, fast or something. It's not this. This is a ways to uh, push you to the level to worship God. Worshiping Allah <coughs> is uh, being nice with the others. Uh, is uh, imitate God Allah attributes of course with the difference and because you know, we cannot be like a God 100% but we should imitate him be nice as he is nice be generous <coughs> be merciful as he is and helping people as he is wishing uh, good things to the others as he is this is the way how to worship Allah Anyhow, I'm going to end uh, up with this small uh, bullshit by saying to you, this being to you all, <coughs> and remember, uh, we should try ourselves and uh, struggle, strive to achieve peace. And uh, lately I said to you, this being to you all. <coughs>